Use the new view binding library to replace find view by ID in your app. It lets you write concise, safe code with less boilerplate. Instead of having to look up every view, it generates a binding object that holds all the views for you. View binding adds safety. When you inflate a view, the binding object will automatically give you the right type. In this example, the greeting is automatically a text view. And if the view is only present in landscape, the binding will be nullable. This helps you avoid crashing in production. And what's really cool is you can use view binding in both Kotlin and the Java programming language. Let's dive in and see how to use it in your app. View binding requires Android Studio and the Android Gradle plugin 3.6 or higher. To use it in your module, enable it in your build.gradle file. You don't need to include any libraries to use view binding. When you enable the compiler, it will automatically recompile your project and generate binding objects for every layout. So if you have a layout file called activitymain.xml, view binding will generate a small class called activitymainbinding. It'll have one correctly typed and null safe property for every view with an ID in the layout. Then, in your activity, instead of inflating the layout directly, you can use the inflate method on activity main binding. It'll inflate the layout for you and return a binding object with all views bound. The layout for your activity is stored in a special property called root, so you can call setContentView binding.root. And that's really all you need to know to get started with view binding. It's really that simple, and it's a lot safer and more concise than find view by ID. If you like view binding and want to take it a step further to bind views declaratively, consider taking a look at the data binding library, which gives you the ability to automatically bind views. Go ahead and try it out in your modules today. We'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to learn more about Android development.